dear students welcome to the third lecture on theory of equations in this lecture i wish to explain one theorem and its applications related to rational number as a root of uh, polynomial equations let us look the statement of uh, the theorem if the rational number p by q that should be in the lowest form that i will explain is a root of the equation a not x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus an equal to 0 where a not a1 a2 etc an are integers and a not not equal to 0 then P is a divisor of a n and Q is a divisor of a naught. Here, P by Q is a root of uh, the equation a naught x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n equal to 0. Where P by Q is in the primitive form. This means that uh, P and Q have no common factors other than one that is known as the lowest term in which p and q are integers and they are prime to each other and uh, q not equal to zero and uh, one more thing here you have to consider is the coefficients of this polynomial equations are integers then we have to prove that P is a divisor of the constant term a n and Q is a divisor of the leading coefficient a naught that we have to prove. So let us look uh, the proof of uh, this theorem. Since P by Q is uh, a root of uh, the given polynomial equation, then we can put that P by Q in the equation. Then you will get a naught into p by q all raised to n plus a1 into p by q all raised to n minus 1 plus etc plus a n minus 1 into p by q plus a n equal to 0. Here we are putting p by q uh, instead of x uh, in the polynomial equation. Since uh, p by q is a root of uh, the given polynomial equation, that p by q will satisfy that equation. Then on simplification, and uh, multiplying this equation with the q raised to n then we get uh, a naught p raised to n plus a1 into p raised to n minus 1 into q plus etc plus a n minus 1 into p into q raised to n minus 1 plus a n into q raised to n equal to 0. Here in the first term you will get p raised to n by q raised to n on multiplication with q raised to n that q raised to n will be cancelled then you will get a naught into p raised to n and on the second term you will get a1 into p raised to n minus 1 by q raised to n minus 1 and multiplying that term with the q raised to n you will you can cancel q raised to n minus 1 then you will get one q and in the similar fashion you will get this expression and here uh, remember that uh, this a naught a1 a2 a3 etc a n and p and q are integers now you can divide the entire expression with the p and uh, you have to bring the right hand the last term to the right hand side then you will get an expression a naught p raised to n minus 1 plus a1 p raised to n minus 2 into q plus etc plus a n minus 1 q raised to n minus 1 equal to on the right hand side you will get minus a n q raised to n divided by p here on the left hand side this a naught a1 a2 a3 etc a n minus 1 p then hence the powers of p and q and hence the powers of q all are integers Therefore, this is a linear combination of uh, the integers. 
therefore the left hand side uh, is an integer since left hand side is an integer the right hand side is also should be an integer but um, here p and q are relatively prime therefore p does not divide q therefore p does not divide q raised to n also therefore p must divide a n that was one of the result p must divide a n or p is a divisor of a n and also from uh, this equation equation number one suppose we are dividing the entire equation with uh, q and uh, bring this term to right hand side then you will get uh, a1 p raised to n minus 1 plus a n minus 1 p into q raised to n minus 2 plus etc plus a n into q raised to n minus 1 equal to minus a naught p raised to n divided by q here the first term on that equation is taken to the right hand side here also as in the previous form the left hand side is a linear combination of integers therefore the entire expression is an integer therefore the right hand side also should be an integer here p and q are relatively prime therefore q does not divide p and hence q does not divide p raised to n therefore to become this right hand side as an integer the only possibility is that uh, q divides a naught therefore q is a divisor of a naught so p divides a n and q divides a naught now let us look one problem related to uh, that theorem solve 4x raised to 5 plus x cube plus x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 in which it is given that it has rational roots it has rational root means uh, that uh, there should be at least one root of the form p by q if uh, p by q is a root of uh, this equation then p must divide this one and q must divide this four by the previous theorem then p is a divisor of one and q is a positive divisor of four therefore the possibilities are for p by q are plus or minus one plus or minus one by two plus or minus one by four because the q can take the values 1, 2, and 4 because q is a divisor of 4. Now, uh, here by putting uh, 1 in f of x, uh, you, will, you can see that f of 1 not equal to 0, f of minus 1 by 2 not equal to 0 f of 1 by 4 not equal to 0 and f of minus 1 by 4 not equal to 0 but you will get f of minus 1 equal to 0 and f of 1 by 2 equal to 0 that means minus 1 is a root of the given polynomial equation and 1 by 2 is also a root of uh, the given polynomial equation therefore x minus minus 1 that will be x plus 1 and x minus 1 by 2 are factors of the given polynomial now uh, you can multiply you can divide uh, the given polynomial equation with uh, the product of x plus 1 into x minus 1 by 2 you will get another polynomial 4x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 2 therefore we can you can write uh, f of x is equal to x minus 1 by 2 into x plus 1 into 4x cube minus 2x square plus 4x minus 2 is a this is a third degree polynomial now here you can take uh, 
2x square outside in this term and uh, 2 from this term then uh, you will get uh, 1 by 2 is a root of uh, uh, this third factor and you can divide uh, this polynomial by x minus 1 by 2 then already 1 by 2 is a factor for f of x therefore x minus 1 by 2 whole square will be a factor of uh, the f of x and x plus 1 is another factor and after dividing this equation with the uh, x minus 1 by 2 you will get uh, 4x square plus 4 then you can take this 4 outside then you will get uh, x minus 1 by 2 4 in f of x is equal to 4 into x minus 1 by 2 whole square into x plus 1 into x square plus 1 here x square plus 1 equal to 0 means x square is equal to minus 1 therefore x is equal to plus or minus i so the roots are 1 by 2 again 1 by 2 then minus 1 then i and then minus i so these are the five roots of the given polynomial equation We will discuss the remaining results in the next lectures. Thank you.